Hello, my name is Galina Gere and today I would like to invite you to do a Halloween makeup with me. Today I would like to show you how to do cuts on one's face. It complements my model's makeup perfectly. Today what we're going to play is a cat woman. As you can see, I am using a sort of cushion made of wax here. It's a special kind of wax you can buy in theatre makeup stores. There's a special theatrical wax and it's quite pliable and elastic. You do have to warm it up a little bit. Here it's actually rather cold so it crumbles. But it does get warmer when it's on the skin, on the surface of the skin, gradually. And it spreads out very softly on the skin, just like Play-Doh. This little cushion we're creating has to be quite thick in the middle for us to have enough material to actually build a shape from. At its edges I'm smoothing it out to sort of soften the edge, make it appear natural. So you can't actually see this transition. Since I'm going to be painting on it later, it doesn't really matter what colour it is. But if you're not planning to paint it to dye different colours, it's better to mix it with some face paint some foundation to make it blend with the skin or use the foundation on top for it to blend with the colour of the skin. Again, I'm stretching out the edges here so you can't really see this cushion we've created. It just looks like a protruding part. And now I'm going to start making my cuts. So I'm doing these indents inside of this little cushion and they are going to imitate little cuts on the skin. I open them up just a little bit, so it actually does look like a, an open cut, and it's quite deep actually. And I'm pressing it onto the skin to make sure that the wax is actually really, really tight on the skin. So the deepest cut we're going to make is at the very center of our little cushion. The rest of them I'm going to be working on closer to the edges of our little cushion. So if you imagine that the cut has been made by this wild beast with huge claws, the edges are going to look torn and uneven. So for it to appear as atmospheric as possible, you don't have to make it very neat and very clean. So I'm doing the second cut closer to the edge. And the third is almost at the contour. We really don't need the lines to be ideally straight because we need this shape, this sort of unevenness that it creates. Again, don't forget to press on the wax for it to get really, really fastened to the skin, glued to the skin. I am using a little bit of tint on the edges, pressing on the edges even more and really blending them in. And I'm using really thick, greasy face paint that's black to accentuate the cuts. So really recreating those claws on the skin. So we're really drawing these lines and we're actually drawing four of them because there are four claws on the paw. So we're making all four of them here. And they do have to look very bright. And I'm using this cherry colored face paint tint or pigment to accentuate the lines. So it sort of looks like an inflammation on the skin around these cuts. Here, our eye makeup is also in the very same style of a cat woman. The red is rounded and creates this sort of really tired and wild and insane, beastly look. Again, I'm adding even more of that wine cherry colored face painted onto our cuts. I'm adding to the unevenness of these cuts, making it 
darker in some places and lighter in some places and wider and narrower and so on. So it's a very uneven texture and an even shape. And then I'm using this special theatre face paint, blood. So fill in the cuts with this blood. So it actually glistens, sort of like a fresh wound. So as you can see, the cut is very, very obvious. So a cat woman has been infected by the assaultant and has also become a vampire. So this little drop of blood shows that she may have bitten someone else already. So we're actually drawing these streaks of blood using theatre makeup blood around the mouth. So actually I'm using not just this theatre makeup blood but also these clots of blood that you can also buy in special theatre stores. It's heavier, thicker in texture. So it is actually quite easy to recreate this look, of course, always complementing the makeup. But actually, any kind of very aggressive, very expressive eyes on the makeup will do for this type of paint. The lips have to be very defined. Of course, black and red look very expressive together. Of course, a black wig, a bob, is the best for this look. And of course, cat eye contact lenses.